Welcome back, my dear students. On this lecture here, I want to do a couple of things. First of all, we want to connect our database that we have in Heroku to something in the computer so that way we can see it. Now, we can log into the bash over there in Heroku and check our database migration to see if they were successfully migrated. But why go to the hassle when we have a GUI in our computer, right? Some of us, and I hope you do, it just make things easier. So I have my GUI here, I'm using Postico, and you're welcome to use whatever you want. But the thing is this, we're gonna connect our GUI here to our database over there in Heroku. So let's actually create a new connection here and let's just call it Heroku um, PG SQL. All right, Postgres. And now we're gonna grab our settings that we got here, our information, and we're gonna copy it there, right? Just to make things easier. 5432 and the user here, password. And the database. There we go. Connect. Now, some of you might get like a little warning saying that it couldn't verify the something. Just click connect. I forgot what the warning was, but I know that I did get that warning one time. I don't have it anymore since I created this um, connection already before. So, anyway, we, we see that we don't have any tables. Well, we got some um, default tables here. We go back here, we see this. All right, let's go back. There we go. We got no tables in our database. Now, let's go to the terminal. And I'm, I'm already in the Heroku app in my local machine, all right? So PDWD, and you can see that I'm there. All right. I'm already logged into Heroku because that's one of the first things we did, right? So this is how we're gonna do this. We're gonna run the command from here. Like I said before, we can, if we want to, um, get into bash, all right? And this, in this command, we can, if we wanted to, go ahead and do a bunch of different things here. And you can go ahead and check that out on the, um, on the documentation. So we see our files here, and but I'm not going to use this since we are gonna be using just a simple command and the command is it will be to migrate our database. So we can say Heroku run and then whatever command we want, artisan uh, migrate. Let's see if this works out of the box. You can go to the documentation and read more about it guys. Super simple to do. So let's see, this is running, running, running. It says it's the free one there. Yes, so I'm gonna press Y. And that should understand it. Now, if I go to my GUI here and I refresh, you, you can see the, the tables there. So we successfully connected to that database there in Heroku. Pretty cool stuff. And remember, just for your information, FYI, uh, what is it? For your information, FYI, yes. Okay, that's some new modern term that some people use. But anyway, uh, so remember that our connection here in the environmental file, in the environment file, is different because this is not actually going there when we push it. All right, when we push this, remember that we have this gig ignore here and it's ignoring this file. So our connection here is gonna be separate than what we have in Heroku, all right? So remember that our connection here has to do with variables, all right? So if we go here, you can see your variables. This is how we are connecting to our database, all right? So we have our own configuration settings here and we have our own configuration settings in the local in our, in our local computer, all right? Anyway, we're good to go. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lecture.